Hello guys, welcome back to Supreme Tennis, where today we're going to be discussing the kick serve. And you're probably wondering why I'm showing you these forehands at the net here. Well, what people fail to understand with the kick serve is the correct wrist movement. So if you just quickly analyze how the wrist moves on your forehand, it's like a roll from right to left. Now with the kick serve, your wrist wants to move in the opposite direction from left to right. So what you're going to do to familiarize yourself with this correct wrist movement is switch to a continental grip and almost just chop down towards the ground. You can then do these sort of sideways bounce downs with a ball to develop feel with this movement. This is one of the main reasons why many people struggle to get topspin on their serves because this movement is just so unfamiliar. Now that you understand how the wrist should move on your kick serves, next you're going to try that movement from above your head. So I want you to sandwich the ball between your racket and hand, then brush the ball with enough force so that it clears the net. If you're struggling to do this from the service line at first, you can move a little nearer to the net to make it slightly easier. Remember, for most of you, this will feel like a strange movement, something you are not yet comfortable with. So you might feel weak through that motion. Over time, you will get used to it and develop more strength in the wrist. This really is the first step to mastering your topspin serve. Moving on to the next drill, we're gonna hold half grip and focus on brushing up the back of the ball. Now, if we go back to those bounce downs we practiced just a minute ago, you can see if I flip the clip around here, we are performing the exact same movement. Do not worry about missing the service box at this stage. Just focus on getting the correct type of spin and having the ball rise off the strings. You don't want the ball coming directly down off the racket as if it was a flat serve or a slice serve. You're then gonna progress by shifting your hand a little further down the grip and you're gonna to move to three quarters of the court. You'll also notice how I'm performing all of these exercises from the ad court. It's just easier to learn the kick serve on this side during the initial stages. And it also helps you to stay side on to the swing, which is very important with the kick serve. Again, don't worry too much about not finding the service box every time. Still aim for getting the right type of spin, so top spin, and then also good height over the net. Imagine the ball is a clock and you want your racket to brush up from seven to one o'clock. This brushing up the back of the ball is what gives you the top spin, and a bit of side spin added is what makes the ball kick off in a different direction. Now you won't see this kick or change of direction initially, but once your technique improves and you start to accelerate through the ball more, you will then start to see this happen. Okay, so now we're gonna to move to the baseline and get on one knee. Again, we're gonna try and brush up the back of the ball from seven to one o'clock from this position. Doing this on one knee encourages you to stay side on, which is very important with your kick serve. A very common mistake that people make is turning the hips and shoulders through when they accelerate forwards into the serve. And this takes away from the topspin effect. If you are getting more slice as opposed to kick on your serves, this could be the reason why. So practice this exercise and you will start to see an immediate difference. Okay, now moving on to probably one of the most important parts of the kick serve, the ball toss. And you want the ball to go behind you and move in the opposite direction to the swing. So I want you to place a square target area just behind you with four cones and see how many times you can get your toss to bounce in that area. Like I said, the toss is extremely important for the kick serve. And when some players actually think they are throwing the ball behind them, this exercise will show you whether or not that actually is the case. Okay, so now with a full continental grip, we're holding the bottom of the handle. We're gonna try the same swing. And yes, this time I want you to make sure you are staying side on and with your toss going behind you. Feel your racket brushing across the ball as it moves in the opposite direction. And if you are starting to feel comfortable with the movement, let's actually try and aim to get the ball in at this stage, preferably out wide to your opponent's backhand. Okay, so we're nearly there, but before we try the kick serve at full pace, I want you to add one more thing. And this is the equivalent of adding that follow through to your ground strokes almost. Notice here how I let my arm hang out to the right hand side of my body. 
Normally your finish on the serve would follow through to the opposite hip, but not with the kick serve. You will see all of the best kick servers finish in this position. And this is what, again, helps you to get that racket up the back of the ball and prevents you from turning the serve into a slice or a flat shot. Okay, taking all that into consideration, let's give it a go at full speed.